always get so excited when I have new makeup to play with. And I have so much new makeup. So much new makeup to play with. Um, and I just got in an Ulta order. You guys might have seen that on Instagram. I did a little bit of a live show. I think I'm going to do that more. I just need to get the hang of it. That was a little weird. Um, and showed you guys a drugstore haul that I got from Ulta. So we're going to be doing mostly all all drugstore. I'm um, trying out new products, using old products, just playing. And while I get so excited to do this, I also get so nervous, especially because I'm filming it, that it's going to be a huge fail. Like my skin is a huge fail. Just to FYI, do not skip your skincare, day or night. Don't do it. I have had so much going on that I kind of was like, yeah, you know, I'll be okay. Just take your makeup off and leave it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. And now I have all these breakouts going down my nose and around. It's like a freaking moon around my eye. Not to mention this honker. It's what is that? Let's just say we're going to be putting this makeup to the test. Yes, we are. Now I'm using everything affordable whatever we want to consider affordable in drugstore except for the brushes. I want to be trying out this brush set from Iconic London. They reached out to me through email, asked me if I wanted to try one of their brush sets and I've heard of them but never tried anything. So I was like, okay, yeah, thank you. And these are like the Blogger's Choice set. It comes with 12 brushes and it comes with this really, really nice bag. It's not sponsored, you guys. I'm not being paid to talk about this. They just sent it out, wanted me to make a video. And give my opinion. So these are what the brushes look like and I'm guessing since it's labeled bloggers choice a bunch of bloggers you know chose out the brushes for this collection. I love the colors of the bristles. I don't have any brushes that are that color and the handles are a cream soft matte touch kind of handle which I also really really like. These are pretty expensive though. They're I, on the site it said $106. It is a UK site I believe so I'm not sure if that's you know in euros or not but it did have an American dollar sign so I'm guessing that it's hundred and six dollars which is a little a little pricey for me a little pricey but they are very gorgeous and they feel gorgeous and they come in a, a wonderful bag I mean this I could use this for a purse that's just multifunctional so we're gonna use as many of these as possible but I will have to use some of my own brushes too because I'm just a stickler like that so let's go ahead and start trying out some drugstore makeup and see how we do I realized that intro was extraordinarily long. I had way too many potatoes today, and now I feel a little some type of way. A little way. Too many potatoes. So I'm going to start off with this flower primer. This is the In Your Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. I've had this for a little bit. Um, I got this in my last drugstore Ulta haul, and I've just been trying it out and using it. Um, I still really have an idea of how I feel about it, but I'm going to be reviewing it soon. It's green. I think that's cool. I think that's really cool. I don't really think that this is pore minimizing at all, like not even in the least, um, but I do like it for some other use, so I will be talking to you guys about that in a future I hold it. For foundation today, I'm going to be going in with the new Flower Light Illusion, and this is a luminous makeup nude skin feel foundation, so I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this because I have oily skin, if this is going to work for me or not. I got mine in Ivory L2. Um, I went to pump it to make sure that it was my color and all the foundation came out of the head of it. Still pumps out of the pump, but it's coming out of the head. And I don't know if that happened in shipping or if that is just, you know, like an issue with the actual makeup, but it's not cool. It's making a mess everywhere, everywhere. So I'm going to use my Shop Miss A, AOA, so many A's. <laughs> their beauty sponge this is a dollar fifty on the site and it's one of the better ones I've ever tried which is amazing and let's try this out I think that the color match is pretty good actually so hard to grab foundations online or concealers for that matter like I think I've messed up some of these um I feel like this is oxidizing almost immediately. It's almost immediately turning orange on me. So I don't know how I feel about that. And it is definitely very luminous because holy cow, it looks like very greasy on me. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe how orange this is. I gotta bring it down my neck because it's very orange. I've been trying here for a bit to get this to dry down even a little bit 
um, and it is not. It is very, very dewy and very sticky. So I am not sure how I feel about this foundation. It has like a light to buildable medium, maybe kind of coverage on it. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this right now, honestly. I was very excited about this foundation, but I don't know. I can't believe it oxidized that much and that quickly, and it didn't cover anything. For concealer, I'm going to go in with two. The first one that I'm going to try out is from Makeup Revolution. This is, it's got everybody in an uproar. Um, this is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. This is supposed to be like a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I have and love the Tarte Shape Tape, so we are definitely going to try this out. It definitely has, can I say definitely anymore? It does have a similar doe foot, um, not the exact same, but a similar and since they're all really sold out, I kind of got the one that's more in my, you know, same color of my face. So there won't be very much brightening to it, but a little bit. So I am going to put it everywhere, whether it's brightening or not, because this foundation is not working out for me. I use the Tarte Shape Tape almost every single day, and I can tell you right off the bat, this is not like the Tarte Shape Tape. This is more, it's not as um, dry. The Tarte Shape Tape for me is a little bit of a dry, drier formula. Um, this kind of just sinks in really, really quick and doesn't have the same kind of coverage. I mean, that's coming from someone who literally uses it almost every single day. <laughs> so um, it's got a stenchy stench too, almost like a floral scent. Um, might be the foundation, but yeah, this is not like the Tarte Shape Tape. I think they tried to dupe it, but no home run for me. It's not bad though. It's not bad at all. So I'm going to keep using it and see how I feel. Hopefully it doesn't like oxidize on me too. Now I did also get the Flower Light Illusion Concealer as well. And I think this one might be a little bit lighter, so I want to just use it a little bit right here just to see this one might be a little bit better i don't know these look really yellow like they're running really really yellow Ooh, this one has a bit more coverage than that makeup revolution one i mean dang that's covering that that dark spot up really good I need to use this more, but I think that I might like this more than the Makeup Revolution one. It, it just seems to be a little bit more coverage and the kind of formula that I like. So this foundation is not setting at all and it's kind of going into my fine lines and stuff. So I'm going to go in with my Cody Airspun powder and this powder brush from the London Iconic set. And I'm just going to set everything. I might, you know what, it's so wet. I'm going to go in with the sponge first actually and put it down underneath my eyes i need to try to get some of this to set down i really really think that people who have drier skin are going to love that foundation love it I mean, this foundation is taking some serious powder to get to get it to set and it's still sticky through the powder and i'm using a ton more powder than i normally do it just won't set. Well, I have enough powder on my face to wear the translucent powder doesn't look so translucent anymore. And I'm still getting sticky spots through my skin where I know it's not going to blend any other makeup very nicely. So I am not sure how this is going to go. Um, the foundation doesn't look that bad, but for this much work, mm-mm. This brush, however, is very, very soft, and I really like it for powder. I just wish it was a little bit more dense. All right, we can finally move on. Now I'm going to go in with the new, new to me, it's not new, but the BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil. I've heard really good things about this. It's got a spoolie on one end, and I'm just going to go in and try this bad boy out. I love micro brow pencils, so I'm hoping that this one I can add to the list because it's super, super affordable. I don't know what color. Oh, brunette. I got mine in brunette. So let's check this out. I really like this brow pencil 
for a micro brow pencil it usually takes a while to fill in the brow if you use it for your whole brow this was so quick I found a hit in that brow pencil it is good so now I'm gonna lock that in with the pixie by Petra this is the brow tamer which I love this this is such a good brow gel and just lock down the werewolf brows I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Milani eye primer this one is my second favorite next to the urban decay primer potion they remind me like they're one and the same basically and I got this new palette from Makeup Revolution. This is the Reloaded Iconic Neutrals 2. It has so many blush colors in it and pinks and orange. And I just, I fell in love with this. I got another one too that reminds me a lot of the Subculture palette. But I wanted to try this one out today. So I'm going to take this more like white cream color and one of the Iconic London brushes. And I'm just going to go in and set this whole eye. Just set that primer down. Oh, this brush is super dense. I like that. I'm going to take the Iconic London Blending Brush, which I always look in sets to see if they have a blender like this, and they did, so I was very happy about that. And I'm going to go into the palette, and I think that I'm going to use this shade right here and pop that into the transition and see what I'm feeling about this palette. This blending brush is like divine it is so so soft and it is on the more skinnier side so for people like me with smaller eyes this is perfect this color seems to be very pigmented and it seems to be blending very well as well so that is a huge plus and then I'm gonna go into this shade right here with the same blender and just deepen up that crease a little bit I do want to do a half cut crease which is kind of just a thing that I do lately I just love it and I'm going to try it out with this Makeup Revolution concealer which I usually use the Tarte Shape Tape so let's see if they are alike in this sense um, I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever brush I know not not even close to drugstore but I can't live without this brush to do this it's kind of a more runny concealer, but it still seems to be working pretty good like this on the eye, so I'm not mad at it. It's not as pigmented either. For a lid color, I'm going to go in with another Prismetal from J-Cat Beauty that I got. I recently got this. So exciting. I love these so much. They were on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off on Ulta. I don't know if they still are, but if they are get every single one this one is in chrome galaxy I'm gonna go in that same makeup forever brush oh, such gorgeousness and I'm just gonna put that down oh why are you so beautiful you guys I cannot even tell you <laughs> I mean the camera is not even doing this justice the chrome just oh, I feel like I have melted gold on my eyelids hold it down I'm going to go in with this darker shade down here and another Iconic London brush. This one's more of a pencil brush, but I need to do a little bit more detailed work here and go over top a little bit of that J-Cat Beauty and just kind of blend them together. The J-Cat does have a little bit of glitter fallout when you blend stuff over top of it, but that's kind of to be expected. Nothing too bad that I can't just sweep away, so I'm not mad at it. And then I'm going to take a Real Techniques brush and back into that darker blush color. And just lightly go over top of this and blend up. I just can't get over how freaking beautiful this is. Holy cow. It might just be the colors because I don't normally have eyeshadows in this color and I'm just dying over them. I'm loving this. The glitter fallout is so easy to get off with a powder brush. I'm going to go back in with that Iconic London brush that I used to set my primer. And I'm going to use this shade right here on the brow bone. See how this plays out. This is a more champagne pink color. Oh, that's not bad at all. Very subtle, but has a nice sheen, which is perfect for the brow bone. 
And I'm just going to take a Morphe pencil brush because I used too, too dark of a color on the Iconic London. And I'm going to go in with that same shade and put that on the inner corner. Let's see how that goes. I feel like nothing can stand up to what I have on my lids right now. It's just insanity. Now I'm going to be trying this Essence Eyeliner. This is new to me. I don't know how new it actually is. It's an 18 hour super last eyeliner in deep black. We're going to give it a try. The ugh, This scares me. It's so long and flimsy. So fingers crossed. Holy cow that is black. It's too flimsy of a wand for me to be able to do a cat eye with. So I'm just going to leave it like this and move on. But this is a good eyeliner. Like the formula inside of it. I don't like the wand, but the formula, ho. Oh, wow. Now I want to try some of these new kiss lashes that are more like bow in your face. What part are they? The Lash Couture line. And these are in Splendor. These are super, super like oh. And I'm going to use the Kiss Lash Adhesive, which is my favorite from the drugstore. And I'm going to pop these on and see how I like them. I'm hoping that they're good. I'm hoping that they won't be too long. These are quite a bit harder to get on than their normal lashes. Um, the ones that are a little bit less glammy, but now that they are on, I'm loving these. They are so pretty but okay well that glue is drying I'm going to move on I'm gonna throw this essence gel liner in cocoa bean in my waterline and then I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna go into the shades with the iconic London pencil brush that I used in my transition and dust those underneath my eye for mascara I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise I'm waiting for mine to dry a little bit because it's super wet, but it is a really great mascara. I have a hard time with it under, you know, my lower lashes though. I get it everywhere. I'm going to go in with another new product for me from Essence, and this is the Luminous Matte Bronzing Powder. So the inner ring is the Luminous, and then the outer ring is just a bronzer. I'm going to go in with an angled brush from the Iconic London. Just kind of swoop it around. That is a lot of product. Whew, it really kicked up a lot kind of go in and see what we're working with it's a little orange <laughs> but it's not bad man it kicks up a lot of powder though I'm gonna go in with the same angled brush and into this flower blush which is the flower pots and sweet pea I love this one so much I love all the flower ones Milani makes two they're so beautiful. For highlighter, I want to try two different things. I want to try out the Physician's Formula Highlighter. This is their Cream to Powder Muru Muru Butter Highlighter. <laughs> I don't know. And I know that I already have powder on, and this is more of a cream, but it says Cream to Powder, so I'm hoping that maybe it'll work. Um, so let's try this out. I just want to put it down here like this. Oh, yeah, that works nicely because it literally turns into a powder. It's not as reflective as I would have liked, but it's not bad. It gives a really nice highlight. I love the Ease Over Powder products, though, that this gives. That's really nice. This is, this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. See, if cream products were like this, I wouldn't have such a problem with them. And then I'm going to go over it with this Milani highlighting palette. This is the Stellar Lights. And I want to try with the Iconic London kind of tapered brush here, which is great for highlighting. I want to go into this white. And I want to try it out with that base of the... Oh, good lord. that That's too bright. Oh my goodness. It's not going to stop now. It's like, girl, I can't stop, won't stop. I mean, geez. That is too much. That is too much. I'm not mad at it. Nope. Not at it. Oh, goodness. All right, before we do the lip, I always go in with a setting spray, and I got a new spray from Essence. This is the Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray, but I take that as a setting spray. It's got kind of a powerful shoot you in the eye mist, so let's just try this out. Mmm. You gotta have that sucker back, man. That will take an eye out. Whew. 
That is not a bad spray. I actually really like it. It got rid of all the powder that I had to use for the foundation. So I'm pretty actually happy with that. So I'm going to go on my lips. So I'm going to start off with a liner. And this is from Rimmel. This is one of my favorite liners ever when it comes to pink anything on the lips. And this is an East End Snob. East End Snob. Yeah, get it together. East End Snob. So I'm just going to put this over the whole lip. This is a color that I would easily wear by itself. You know, a liner that I would just wear as a normal lippy. But I want to try out this Flower Liquid Lipstick. This is a Flower Miracle Matte Lip in Nude Blush. Let's try it out. Oh, it's so creamy. That actually feels amazing on the lips. Takes a while to dry down. But looks gorgeous. I love this. So this is how the look turned out. You guys, I'm actually very happy with it. I wasn't sure how it was going to start. I thought it was going to end pretty horribly. There was some touch and go moments there for a second. But I do have to try these products a little bit more. Use them a little bit more and you will see them in an in-depth review in my I Hauled It series. But so far, really the only fail fail was the flower foundation. I don't think that it's for me. I am going to try it a few different ways and a little bit longer to give it more of a try. But I don't think that it's going to be for me. And to be honest, I really don't think that this is a lot like the Tarte Shape Tape. I think it wanted to be, but I don't think that it really made that mark. But I'm going to try it more. I'm going to try it more. And I do like it for what it is. So the Makeup Revolution palette is blowing my mind. And of course that J-Cat. Oh, guys, get that J-Cat. All the Prismetals. Get all the Prismetals. Everything that I used in the video, along with the Iconic London brush sets, I will leave linked down below in the description box if you guys want to do your own research, check it out yourself, whatever you need, it's all down there for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe before you leave, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon in another one, trying out some more luxury stuff. Bye guys.